beautiful so far so the next thing we're going to look at is the jobs migration and the uh, job needs a job creator so who created the migration uh, who created the job post all right so this is like for job postings we're going to do integer just so that we can know the person that created it so and then the other part, thing we need to know is which organization okay does this job posting belong to organization so if we know the organization now we can automatically fill some fields all right so um but it has to be knowledgeable just in case the job is not under any organization so we have um, organization knowledgeable all right let's say if it's a freelance program somebody just wants somebody to build an app for them they don't need to have an organization all right so control c um, the next thing we need to look at is um, what else? So we can now start looking at things like job title. Basically, something like looking for a Laravel developer is not knowledgeable. You must put a job title. It can be uh, having a job without a job title. And then um, list of skills, comma separated list of skills, okay? Comma skills. Okay, you have to give us the commercial separated list of skills and a required skills required required okay and then finally you have to give us a description description all right uh, maybe we can make this a singular skill required uh, that's assuming that each skill each um, job must have only one skill otherwise I think we're good okay so there are better ways we can handle this design for instance we can take out skills required to a different table uh, but for now just for the sake of simplicity we can have it here sometime in the future if you want you can redesign yours so now we have um, skill required description we want to know whether this job is still open so we can have um, in, um, status that is a string job status status it's knowledgeable but at the same time it's gonna be knowledgeable okay um thinking if it's knowledgeable you can put anything inside knowledgeable it's gonna be default here the fault is going to be that it is open. The job position is still open and both closed. Okay, so want to know job type? Whether it's is it remote, is it um, on site, and so on. So we're going to say job type. Integer string job type. So job type we can have remote on site or whatever. So job type uh, instead of job type, well, let's say type. Okay, the type can be default. The default can be remote. Work type. I think it's gonna be work type because uh, we can still have job type. Work type. Where we have on site, on site, on site, you will also have remote mm, hybrid, both on site and remote. Okay, so uh, job type here is full time, part time, full, full time. So there's part time. There's contract. So we're gonna call it job type. Alright, good. These things we just manually hard code them and make them just a drop downs. Remember that um, in a professional environment you don't hard code things like this. I'm just doing this for the purpose of brevity. Alright. So if you're building for a professional company like a bank, you don't hard code things. You have to create separate tables for this. 
so that you can automatically generate a list of that okay but for me for just uh, the purpose of brevity i will just do this here you have remote you have part-time and um, full-time you have on-site on you have room okay all right so that's what we have finally we're going to create accounts i think we've uh, exhausted this field we're going to create accounts maybe we need something like interview instructions i think everything will be in description um now we can have table and uh, call it account we need to know who owns this account so integer integer user id who owns this account so once we create a user a field a user record we create an account for this user so we need to know your account balance so say balance the balance is going to be double double that will have 10 and 2 two numbers after the decimal place and 10 possible numbers before the decimal place and the default will be default will be uh, 0 0.0 0 0.0 um, what I can remember is whether it's going to be inside the something like this okay good now what else do we need to know balance usually they're supposed to be an, uh, another table to keep transaction records okay history transaction history but for the purpose of brevity we're just gonna leave this here like this there should be another table that handles payments so we can track which payments but was made by who but for now purpose of brevity we're gonna leave this here now what we're gonna do is to make sure that soft delete is added in all the tables so I'll go to a table that has soft deletes and uh, start adding them on the rows there is need for soft deletes so I'll just copy soft deletes again save it's already here it's already here uh, needs to be here jobs needs to be here accounts needs to be here okay so um what are, what other thing do we need in users table we need to know if this person is actively seeking for employment all right actively seeking for employment and actively seeking for what else so let's say this user we need to have a field that tells us to pull up this user if they are actively seeking for employment so we can do table I don't know what to call this um, but I'm gonna call it tiny int tiny int so it's gonna be this actively seeking employment employment so employ actively seeking employment is like a question is going to be one and a zero so default should be zero uh, yeah default should be one to show that you are actively seeking now i want to confirm this tiny int whether it's this it's, it is tiny integer or tiny int so if you come to laravel documentation uh laravel documentation so we can see on that you look at I J K L M N O P Q R S T S T. So we can see tiny increments, tiny integer. See so that's what it is. Tiny integer. Okay, so I think so far we've done the main things we need to do um, to go ahead.